The World Health Organization says in Nigeria, an average of 150,000 infants are born with a sickle cell disease, a devastating genetic disorder. The development of an effective drug for the management of the disease is therefore heartwarming not only to sufferers but also their parents. The drug Niprisan is a phytomedicine discovered by the National Institute for Pharmaceutical Research and Development, NIPRID, to manage sickle cell disease. It was developed through scientific evaluation and subsequently patented in 45 countries of the world, including the United States. The product, launched in 2003, was granted orphan drug status by the United States Food Drug Administration in 2004 and the European Medicine Evaluation Agency in 2005. It, however, became a subject of litigation following the bankruptcy of the company granted patent license by NIPRID. After two years of threats and court actions against NIPRID for withdrawing the license, the coast is now clear for the production of NIPRISAN. One of the conditions in the agreement for license was that should the company get bankrupt, they should revert to NIPRID before they take any action. They didn't. Um, also, in the spirit of government encouragement, through these years of production, there was no royalty payment, although the conditions stipulated that annual uh, benefits in terms of royalty was going to accrue to NIPRI. The Director General of the Institute, it's Professor Gamania, who puts the total cost for pilot production at 250 million naira for 300,000 patients, says the production will commence in the next two months. Professor Gamania expressed regret that the Institute has not lived up to its mandate as a national center for drug information. As we are talking now, we are processing the expansion of our bandwidth so that we can actually use that facility both for the information service as well as for our in-house communication as well. We're supposed to be present in the six geopolitical zones. We know that's our job, that's important. But we can't afford now because funding does not allow us. The, running the institute, which was established in 1987, is mandated to encourage the development of traditional and harbor medicines through proper documentation, verification, and standardization. In Abuja, Abiyodun Akomu, NT News 24.